Let's talk about how the market is performing. Sally, we're seeing it uh, finally passing that 30,000 mark today. I mean, what is your take on where investors' heads are at right now? Yeah, thank you. Good afternoon. And um, it's great to be on your show today. Uh, I think basically the bullish trend that we've been experiencing for the past couple of days is still being sustained as at the close of trading today. Like you rightly mentioned, the market gained 1.37%, which is also another positive trend uh, towards the recovery that we've been all expecting on the Nigerian Stock Exchange. And also, uh, notably, is the fact that the market also scaled through the 30,000 points, uh, which is uh, great news for most traders and investors. And uh, the hope is that the trend will still continue in the positive note. But however, uh, I think the bullish trend uh, might uh, be subsiding to some extent because if you look at the traded volume and value uh, on the exchange today at the close of uh, the market, you discover that the volume uh, lost about 24.93% uh, compared to what uh, was traded yesterday and as well as the uh, total value traded. Uh, that tells us to be a little bit cautious uh, in being uh, bullish in taking new positions and uh, also for us to watch out uh, for the time that the BS is setting to start taking profit uh, from the gains that they've been experiencing for the past few days. Right, so I mean your take there lie is that we might begin to see some profit taking, <coughs> sorry, and we might begin to see the market slowing down in the coming days. Yeah, definitely. Uh, if you look at the losers and uh, gainers counters today, uh, you'll be able to fish out some of those uh, banking stocks that have been uh, leading the rally for the past few days. I mean, uh, you could see a GTB losing steam today, and as well as Sky Bank, and also Union Bank and FCMB. I mean, these are indications that uh, there could be a spillover of this kind of profit taking we've seen in those stocks. Uh, because if you start comparing uh, the valuation of some of these banks to the current trading price, you discover that a couple of them has actually scaled over the true uh, uh, valuation that analysts have uh, given to each of those stocks. So uh, it's a signal that uh, possibly uh, starting tomorrow and uh, like uh, in, in the next few days, we could see a lot of people coming back to the market to take profit from the gains that they've seen in some of these counters. Right. And, and very quickly, I mean, we have inflation numbers coming out tomorrow, Lai, and I'm curious to know yeah. how you think this may affect the market going forward. You know, uh, like you said, uh, we're seeing the banking sector sort of slowing down now. or We're seeing a reverse in price when it comes to some of those banking stocks. How do you think uh, some investors who are cautious about inflation may play the market in the coming days? Uh, basically, the inflation index uh, is one of those uh, indices that uh, most of our foreign uh, investors are taking note of and vis-a-vis uh, -vis the exchange rate disparity. And you know, uh, because they constitute a large volume of trade on our market, uh, we usually feel the effect if the figures coming out is not favorable. If the inflation rate happens to go up, um, uh, we will definitely see um, some of uh, the kind of trade that we're seeing slow down on the market because uh, investors don't want to uh, do a trade in the market where they see uh, general price level coming down. So uh, what, what we hope for basically is for uh, the good news about the inflation to uh, drop a little bit to instill some confidence in the market. But uh, by and large, I think it would be a very good indicator uh, for trading and it's uh, a kind of announcement that a lot of investors will be watching out for tomorrow. 